What's up, worlds? The Seven Worlds Gaming here today, and today I'm bringing you a Forza Motorsport 7 glitch. Now, in no way is this a hack. This is just pretty much the developers mess up some coding, and you can actually go ahead and do this within the game as of October 5th. 2017 so if this video helps you out in any way make sure to not leave without leaving a like and if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe this is actually a glitch one of my subscribers went ahead and sent me so huge shout out to them I don't want me to go ahead and disclose their their name which is completely fine with me but thanks to them for letting me know that this actually happens in the game so all you need to go ahead and do is you need to go ahead and go into free play once you are actually in free play what you're gonna want to go ahead and do is you are gonna go pretty much go to race setup okay right here you are gonna want to go to Daytona Daytona International Speedway and make sure that this right here the oval circuit is highlighted now once you get that set up you are gonna go ahead and do two laps zero drivatars circuit race during the day and rise of the supercar so if you do have an F1 actually it works with any car but just if you can with the F1 that's the one I'm currently using right now after you're done with that you're gonna go ahead and go to assist and you're gonna go ahead and set it up here to super easy just accept that and from there let's just go ahead and start the race and you're gonna see what happens here so this is actually like a two-step thing and there will be a time where you're pretty much just gonna have to get away from your controller so it works a little bit better as well here we go and in this one let me actually go ahead and tell you worlds in this race on the first race all you have to do is hold down the accelerator do not try to steer or anything because the car will actually go ahead and do it for you because you're in super easy. Once again, just hold down the accelerator. Do not steer. Do not brake. Just hold that accelerator down and let it do its thing. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. I did it earlier. It worked for me. Let's see if we can get it to work on the video. And if for some reason, feel free to go ahead and skip this part. We're just going to hold down the accelerator and we are just going to go ahead and Kind of do this two laps here i am not steering in any way or oh, i'm not even gonna break the car just does it for you you set up everything to super easy so it automatically does everything for you so if you have a little kid <laughs> like myself i have three sons maybe i'll go ahead and just let my sons play this since it's so easy with the steering wheel by the way i'm currently making this video on the xbox one for some reason i try to do it on the pc but it just wasn't working i don't know if my steering wheel was getting involved with the whole process so i just rather go ahead and do it here on the xbox one whatever you do please do not let go of the accelerator just go ahead and hold it down and if you do have any questions feel free to just contact me via my social media twitter facebook or instagram as you see there at the top of the screen is going to kind of go ahead and rotate some of my social media everything is going to be pretty much the 7 wg and if you want to go ahead and check out the live streams is the 7 wg live on youtube here we go we're almost done here with the second lap now once this lap is done what you're gonna want to go ahead and do is you're gonna want to go ahead and just restart the race as soon as you can you do not want to go to next race you want to go ahead and restart the race once again just hold down the accelerator don't press any other button on your controller all you need to do right now during the first race is just hold down the accelerator that is a big part if you touch anything else this will not work here we go race is done now you can go ahead and let go of the accelerator we're gonna wait for that menu to just pop up here just press a as soon as you see it and it's gonna show up right now press a and then just from there go down to restart and if you can just pretty much triple tap a right here and it will take you to the next screen now we're gonna go ahead and go to race setup right there we're gonna go ahead and switch it instead of circuit race we're gonna do time race and we're gonna go ahead and switch it to 30 seconds still with the same circuit as well now we're gonna go to assist and we're gonna go ahead and change the s6 to veteran and after that we're just gonna go ahead and start the race and just finish this race let the time run out and then i'll go ahead and tell you what we need to go ahead and do here this one you can actually touch more than the, than the accelerator you can steer you can brake you can definitely shift which you're probably gonna have to <laughs> if you don't just want to be on the first gear and go straight into the wall it's just the first race and I know I'm repeating myself here but I really want you to go ahead and understand that that you need to make sure in the first race you don't touch anything else besides just the accelerator please make sure you do that it will save you a lot of time kids because I actually did the mistake of touching the steering and just braking thinking something else was gonna happen 
and it kind of messed it up here now you're gonna go ahead and press continue you're gonna go ahead and do restart right away now once you get to this screen press a and once you get to this screen right here just pretty much get away from your controller go pee go get a drink of water go do anything else you need to do for at least a minute or two so we're just gonna go ahead and let this run for about a minute or two and then we'll be right back all right worlds and here we are we pretty much waited about a, between a minute and a half to two minutes so hopefully you got something to drink hopefully you were eating who the heck knows maybe you were watching your favorite show now once that time has gone by one to two minutes just go ahead and press a and the game is actually gonna go ahead and glitch out like it just did right there it's gonna crash and all you have to go ahead and do is just pretty much go ahead and reopen up the game and then just wait for this amazing stuff that you're about to go ahead and do if you continue to do this glitch it's pretty much just gonna bring you a lot of money it is just a glitch this is just an educational video it is not a hack in any ways this is just pretty much a mess up from the developers themselves so just know there is no hacking involved with this video all you need to have is an Xbox one the game itself whether it's on PC you can try it on PC as I said it didn't work for me just due to the fact that I have a steering wheel so it is what it is <laughs> <laughs> good thing i have an xbox one as well so i'm currently trying it on the xbox one come on baby just go ahead and connect right here it always takes a little bit longer i noticed it takes a little bit longer on the xbox one than it does on pc i'm digging the pc version a little bit more just because of the graphics are just insane now once the actual game comes back up all you want to go pretty much want to go ahead and check is you're gonna go all the way to the right to progress and as you can see on rewards we currently have 377 rewards to open up which is just absolutely insane dude look at this madness and i'm probably just gonna go ahead and get a lot of cash right here because why the heck not look at that we're getting legendary cars now by the way i was if you haven't seen the other glitch on the xp wise if you want to go ahead and check that out i'll link it in the description below it will pretty much show you a way to just gain up a lot of ranks get a lot of xp you do need to be at least a vip member and you do need to have a dodge ram so go ahead and check that out if you want and let's go ahead and see here what kind of cool cars maybe we can get oh the lambo murcielago okay i can definitely drive that bad boy here later on why the heck not super rare oh my gosh damn dude now let's see what other kind of stuff we get here bmw m1 you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and add these cars because i can definitely go ahead and sell them this right here i think i might already have it but i will definitely be able to sell it oh the 4 gt 40 oh my gosh we're getting the same cars right now dude dude that is ridiculous another lambo we got the sesto elemento oh baby do you want to buy this car for one <laughs> yes yes i do we just got my first legendary dude the lamborghini sesto elemento if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe because we're definitely gonna be making a video with this car here and hopefully by you guys trying out this glitch that's pretty much just a mess up on the developers end and it's not our fault that we're kind of exploiting it because <laughs> it's not a hack hopefully you guys can get some really cool cars like i'm getting here and look at that now we're in collection 11 bro i need some money i need some money please give me all the money i can get here this cars are just kind of looking a little bit lame there yeah oh oh wait oh no maybe i i wanted that corvette that was like the, the old school corvette the first version of the corvette dude that is just straight up ridiculous look at all this stuff we're getting here and you can also get some suits i'm just currently getting the money because i don't see this the point of all, honestly just getting this stuff here the lambo i could get that lambo maybe i can sell it you know what let me just actually go ahead and do that i'm so high up right now on my just on my collection overall that i might just go ahead and sell some of these cards which in the long term it will be better if i do get the cards because they will be worth more than just fifty thousand, which is just what i'm getting from when i actually collect the money so just think about it that way it, it's kind of like an investment in a way if you don't collect the money you can definitely collect the car and just sell it later down the road for an insane amount of cash with this one here i think i'm gonna go ahead and collect the money and heck maybe if you see some really really freaking cool stuff you'll also be able to 
pretty much collect the uh, <laughs> the suits there. Oh my gosh, dude! Look at that. We already went up. I know I spent almost 1.5 million on that Cesto Elemental, but I don't care. That thing was just nice. Oh, and we got the GT2 RS, the cover of the game. All right, that's gonna be it for right now, worlds. Hopefully you're enjoying this. If you did, make sure to not leave without leaving a like. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hopefully it definitely helped you out because we just got some sick cars out of this and I cannot wait to see what else we get here. As always, worlds, it has been the Seven Worlds Gaming. And now we'll go ahead and see you, worlds, in the next one. Oh, baby, please. <gasps> no way, dude.